Today we'll be covering how to export your captured data to FBX format through Blender. This is an amazing way to transfer your motion capture data to any third-party system. But before we do that, let me remind you that Core Data Motion is already live on Kickstarter and you can order your motion capture kit through the link you'll find in this video's description down below. Without further ado, let's get to Blender. As you can notice, we already have an avatar generated and a node tree that will allow us to go through the capture. If you don't know how to generate these elements, make sure to check the video that will appear right now in the upper right-hand corner of the screen. The first thing we'll need to do is add a record node, which we can do by selecting Add, Main, Record. I'll now need to link it to the armature node as you're seeing. This is the complete setup we'll need in order to generate the capture. Now we need to start streaming data from the Notochord node. For today's demonstration, I'll be using the demo mode, which provides a pre-recorded capture we've generated for testing purposes. I'll select the capture I want to use and run the demo. You will notice the avatar moving by this point. Next, we need to go to the node we've recently added and record a part of this pre-generated capture. We can notice the system is recording because the record button turns blue and the keyframe count starts moving. I'll now stop the recording and the demo stream. As you can see, I have a movement sequence. If I select the armature, you'll see that there are a group of keyframes that have been generated. If we get closer to a record node, we'll see that this recording, which is called an action in Blender, has been named Core Data Biped Action. We'll need to remember this for future steps in this tutorial. I'll now select both the mesh and the armature and go to File, Export, FBX. Here we'll be able to give this file the name of our choice. Beyond naming, you'll see that there are additional options available in the right-hand menu. I can choose to export only the selected objects, which is useful for scenes in which we have multiple objects. I can also select the scale. I'll give this one a value of 0 0.01, but bear in mind that this value will depend on the system that you're exporting this to. Depending on the software you're using, Blender exports may look bigger or smaller, so play around until you find a scale that fits your needs. We can now generate the export. This process will take more time in order to be completed if your capture is longer. In order to review our capture, I'll be using a free tool which is available in any modern web browser, 3JS's Web Editor. This one is an online app that allows us to import objects such as the FBX capture I just generated. In order to do this, I'll go to File, Import, and then select the capture I recorded previously. And here we have it. Now, in order to reproduce it, I'll need to select from this drop-down menu the action that we saw named in the record node. For this example, mine was named Core Data Biped Action. I can now hit the play button and, as you can see, it will reproduce the animation we recorded. The reason why there are more actions other than our recording is that we use the demo mode, which leads the FBX exporter in Blender to also include all of our pre-recordings. In case you wonder why the model has turned black, the reason is that we have no light in our scene. We can add one by going to the Add menu in 3JS's editor. This way we'll be able to see the texture of our model more clearly. That's how easy it is to generate your motion capture exports and transfer them to any third-party system. Thanks for your time and let's keep on moving!